Welcome to Quick Aircraft Facts. Our mission is to teach those interested about aircraft in three minutes or less. In World War I, before the days of dogfighting, aircraft were used primarily for intelligence gathering. They eventually evolved into becoming a lethal instrument in war. However, their vantage point gave commanders a bigger picture that was needed to win battles. Over the years, aircraft were developed specifically for intelligence gathering, and others were early warning aircraft like the Navy's E-2 Hawkeye. But the United States Air Force, NATO, and other U.S. allies rely on a much larger bird. The Boeing 707 was a humble passenger transport aircraft that helped usher in the jet age. After being modified for military use, this humble aircraft became the E-3 Sentry and it did its fair share with providing leaders the big picture they needed to achieve victory. Developed in the 60s, the E-3 Sentry, or AWACS, was designed to use the latest technology and replace the Lockheed EC-121 Warning Star. The Sentry, in short, is a mobile radar platform that is also a command and control center. Crews aboard the Sentry can provide commanders with vital information about enemy air and maritime movements. They can help direct assets, and if needed, they can forward their data to the President of the United States or Secretary of Defense. During Operation Desert Storm, the Sentry quickly proved to be a valuable asset. It was able to provide commanders with real-time intelligence and updates on enemy movements. And for the first time in history, the Sentry's crew using their impressive data collection ability were able to record the entire air war that took place during the conflict. The Sentry isn't just a military asset. When natural disasters such as hurricanes wreak havoc, the crew aboard the Sentry can coordinate rescue efforts between military and civilian agencies. Since 1977, the E-3 Sentry has been on the job. However, the 707 is no longer in production, and upgrades are being researched and developed to keep this dependable aircraft operational. As of the date of this video's release, the United States Air Force has no retirement date set for the E-3 AWACS. However, it has been reported that NATO intends to use the aircraft until 2035.